Michael Hernandez here of MLH Media, and we are here today, Uriah Faber's A1 Combat 21 with Uriah Faber. After that victory out there, how did it feel to get that win in the cage? I mean, a cage that you've helped to create and helped to revolutionize the sport in so many assets, getting a win out there against a very game Jeff Glover. Uh, I felt good. You know, I felt a little bad because Jeff is my friend, but he asked for this uh, along with a whole host of other guys. Um, first, it was going to be Cub Swanson, then Jeff Curran, and Jeff, who was begging for it. I said, "Bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack you," and he goes, "That doesn't bother me." And I don't think he want to do that again, though. But uh, you know. I, I praise him for getting out there, a high-level guy, a world champion, and, uh, you know, putting it all out, and I'm glad I got the victory, man. You were in Cabo not too long ago, turned 45. Yeah. How's it feeling, man? I, you looked great out there. Is there a chance that we get to see Uriah Faber once again throwing down in, with some combat jiu-jitsu, possibly, for A1 combat? I mean, the goal is to really start getting uh, the A1 combat rule set flushed out. We're still kind of figuring things out right now, but... Um, you know, what I think is uh, I want to have some whole cards. and Some mixed, mixed, mixed cards are good, too, with some high-level guys. And uh, uh, this is a real cornerstone to our sport, mixed martial arts, the ground and pound, the positioning, the jiu-jitsu that works for MMA versus the stuff that doesn't. That's kind of what I want to showcase and create a, a, a direct path to. You competed not too far down the road over there at the Tachi Palace back in the day. Now coming over here to the Visalia Convention Center. And did it feel a little bit like deja vu when you're getting those hooks in and you're applying some of that pressure on the ground and pound? Because, I mean, you were doing that not too long ago on those WEC uh, cage floors. Yeah, I mean, uh, it felt like a fish in water, to be honest. I've been doing this since uh, 2003 professionally, so 21 years. And, uh, yeah, just snap flashback right into the zone, you know. It's cool. Hey, well, I think the fans would be mad if I didn't ask this one last question. Combat University, I know you've been putting in a whole lot of work on top of revolutionizing with combat jiu-jitsu and, of course, all your other contributions to MMA, now Combat University. Any updates you can give me on that? Um, we're accepting uh, applications. We're given scholarships for wrestling, boxing, jiu-jitsu, uh, kickboxing, and mixed martial arts in general. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's one thing we're really excited about. And, also, the robot, the robotbjj.com, if you want to check out uh, a cutting-edge tool to get better at mixed martial arts. Robot, there's nothing like it. Uh, I did a lot of my preparation for this match on the robot because I don't want to smack my buddies very, very often, you know? 100%. Well, Uriah, I think you deserve a very, very fun championship victory. I mean, that's, uh, that's quite the performance out here, so you go enjoy it with your coaches. Got Fabio and got the rest of the guys out here looking to go have some fun with you, my man. So you go have a great rest of your night tonight. Michael Hernandez here of MLH Media, and we are going to be signing out over here at the Visalia Convention Center with Uriah Faber after his combat jiu-jitsu victory with the rear naked choke. Hey, man, congratulations. You got it, brother. Hey, I really